another knife sheath and if you've seen one of my videos of the knife testing reviews knife reviews on my playlists one of my more recent ones I've done was of this Smith & Wesson what was it uh, special ops survival knife and where I think I broke the handle, I still haven't looked into it. I may just go ahead and do that on this video. But I am going to go ahead and make a new sheath for it. Because I really don't like this one that much. And, well, we don't utilize mold packs that much. So this, this one's almost useless to us. And it, Well, this is end up, going to end up being my son's, this knife. So, uh, <laughs> no, because I don't want you to hurt me with them. <laughs> I didn't think of the idea, but thanks for this <laughs> idea now. So, I want to go ahead and pick one up for this. That way he's got his own little survival knife. And survival knife. And, <laughs> and you tell me not to hurt you. <laughs> that way he has his own little survival knife and still I mean that way he can feel kind of good I guess however whatever that feeling is so I'm going to uh, go ahead and get started on this it's just going to be a simple a simple sheath very similar to some of the ones I've done so kick back and enjoy
so we got her done and got it done in pretty decent time so I'm getting a little bit better at it now here it is I got I got a piece uh, <laughs> well I made I made my son a new belt with already pre-stamped leather strap and it was an outdoors pattern I had a little I got that I got off of this and I used it for a little upper template there for him. and this was just excess from the belt because we got a little bit big for him so that way he could grow into it uh, so oh yes so I took this apart took this handle apart and if you guys were wondering this was not broken it was just a very very bad design the way that this sits in there is that it simply pivots off of this Chicago screw type uh, screw and stud set up and it's just it's just a bad design I mean, if it had a double uh, if it had a two two set up on there passing through the handle or just simply welded on there or, or already part of the handle itself the inside tang if it was already part of that it would make it even better but since it's pivoting off that one Chicago screw it's it's not that good at all so that's why it pivots off like that because it's 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 moving it's it's a pivot it's a pit, uh, it's a weak spot and so it's for its intended purposes it's definitely a no go so this stack <laughs> this isn't much different than what the original sheath was like except I shortened up shortened up the belt loop and I uh, of course made it into leather made it a little bit more personalized for my son so I got it I got JH on theirs for him so this way this way he's got something that's kind of neat besides as you guys saw if you saw the video in the playlist of this Smith & Wesson special ops it strikes out pretty good on the ferro rod and everything and it does pretty good for that yeah it, it strikes it strikes off real good as you guys saw uh, if you guys saw the video uh, I did do a review on this for the those who are seeing this video before that it is just simply a review of this particular knife it is I think I had titled it Smith & Wesson Special uh, Special Ops Survival Knife, which is, I mean, what this is. So, if you, uh, if you want to watch it, go check it out. And I'll have to say sorry in advance for the audio on that. It was not that good. I was very ill-prepared that day. So, that's the build. And it's a little, it's... It'll do the job, for sure. And it's def I definitely, excuse me, definitely did a little bit of something different with that. So, putting that cover on there. And, going from there. So, video verse. Alright, so we're in James chapter 2, verses 14 through 26. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says <clears throat> he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead but someone will say you have faith and I have works 
Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is, is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But you do, uh, but do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac, his son, on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect. Do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Likewise, was not Rahab the Harriet also justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. And that is James chapter 2, verses 14 to 26. And I will see you guys in the next one.